Hunter Mackey of Carrick Wraith here coming to you from Edinburgh. I'm just off the Royal Mile and behind me here is St. Giles Cathedral. This uh, famous cathedral has inside it the Chapel of the Knights of the Thistle, the premier chivalric order uh, of Scotland. One of our chiefs was a Knight of the Thistle. Uh, it was the illustrious 11th Lord Ray, Sir Donald Mackay. So he was knighted as a Knight of the Thistle, and as a result, hopefully I'll be able to show you in a few moments inside for each of the stalls of the Knights of the Thistle. These would be the elaborate chairs that each knight uh, is appointed when he uh, is a knight. Uh, and each of those stalls at the back, there will be a, a bronze plaque depicting the arms of that knight. So if I'm right, Inside in the chapel here, there should be a depiction of the arms of our chiefs, the Lord's Ray, in this case in honor of the 11th Lord Ray, Sir Donald. Now, I say he was illustrious. He was born in Holland, but became a British citizen and went on to serve as the governor of Bombay, or what is today Mumbai. He had quite an international uh, reputation, and uh, as part of the honors he received, as I say, he was made a knight of the thistle. I don't have the same kind of access, Hunter, that you do to um, our, uh, our genealogical records for the clan as I'm traveling right now. I wonder if you could fill us in uh, on some of the background and the accomplishments of the 11th Lord Ray. Hey Chris, no problem. I can totally fill in the audience of where the 11th Lord Ray fits into the genealogy of our chiefs. So looking at this, the, the Book of Mackay, We'll take a look at this image right here where you see it says John, the second Lord Ray. John had a few sons, but one of these sons was named Aeneas. And from this line, you get the Dutch Mackays. And we'll return to this. But let's look a little bit lower. And we notice that uh, George, the fifth Lord Ray, um, did not have any male uh, issue or did not have any sons. And so the title was uh, given to his brother, the sixth Lord Ray, and his brother had no uh, children either. And then the title went to Eric, the seventh Lord Ray, which was uh, a cousin. And then after that, it went to Eric, the ninth Lord Ray. And then from Eric, the ninth Lord Ray, it went to the Dutch line of the Mackays. Now, let's look at the Dutch line real quick. So you have... Um, Aeneas, the second son of Lord Ray. After that, you have Donald with Aeneas, and then Baron Barthold. And then that is where, after Eric, the ninth Lord Ray, you have Aeneas, the tenth Lord Ray. And then after Aeneas, you have Donald James, the eleventh Lord Ray. And that is how uh, the current line of our chiefs exists through uh, the current day chief, Aeneas Simon Mackay, Lord Ray. Hunter, unfortunately, the chapel of the Knights of the Thistle is closed to the public at present, but outside of the chapel, here within the cathedral, you can see a banner, or you can actually see a number of banners of other Knights of the Thistle, and one of those is a clansman. That is the Lord Mackay of Clash Fair, and you can see his banner here with a distinct resemblance to the arms of our chief. The main difference being, or in fact, the only difference here being in the base of the banner, instead of a third bear's head, you can see a fleece of a lamb, which is the difference for Mackay of Clash Fair. So he inside would also have a stall of his with his own uh, arms represented there. Uh, I don't know if it's the same stall of his predecessor, um, or of his cousin rather, the 11th Lord Ray, but uh, he does indeed have his banner flying outside. Hunter, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get into the um, chapel of the Knights of the Thistle, but I was able to pick up, before I left, this book that details all of the stall plates. Those are those plates I was discussing that are uh, up on the wall of each stall where each knight um, sits for ceremonial occasions. And so this has in it photographs of the arms that you could see if you were able to go into that chapel. And this uh, is a depiction of the plate for Lord Mackay of Clash Fern. Uh, and I was showing you his 
banner that was hanging uh, in the cathedral outside of the chapel of the Knights of the Thistle. So here you can see a very distinct resemblance to the arms of our chief um, and really only two differences. One being here, the uh, fleece in the bottom as a difference from the third bear's head. And then in the top here, we have the hand instead of holding the dagger, holding the scales of justice, referring to Mackay of Clashfern's uh, legal career. The motto echoes that of our chief, Manu Justi instead of Manu Forti. Uh, the just hand here, again, a reference to his legal career. The um, fleece here is a reference to Mackay of Clashfern having served as the Lord High Chancellor who traditionally sits on what's called the wool sack in Parliament. And uh, so the wool sack here being referenced by the fleece. So all of this is a um, quite a distinct visual recollection or echo of the arms of our chief, which are most recognizable to people. This is a photograph of the stall plate of um, the Mackay chief who I mentioned earlier was made a knight of the thistle. Uh, that was the 10th Lord Ray. Um, sorry, the, uh, he was the elder son of the 10th Lord Ray uh, at Donald Mackay. And uh, he was made a knight of the thistle. So, uh, so Sir Donald. Um, and you can see that it's a much older, um, it's aged. And it's an older style and rendition of his arms. But these are the arms familiar to all clansmen of the three bears' heads and the uh, strong hand there, the hand holding the dagger. And you can just make out here Manu Forti, the motto of our chief. And uh, at the very bottom, it mentions 1911 and Ray. So that was the year that he was inducted into uh, the Order of the Knights of the Thistle. So not quite as... Um, uh, fun as being able to get into the chapel itself. Unfortunately, there was a private tour going on at the time, but at least we're able to see the stall plates that we could have seen in situ had I been able to get in. Don't worry, Clan Mackay. We have not forgotten about our uh, new video that's going to be coming up, The Origins of Clan Mackay. We'll have that hopefully pretty soon. Chris and I have a really good um, a lot of content that we've been working on. Chris has been all over Scotland getting some good video for us, uh, but it'll, it'll be a good it'll be a good show. If you haven't already, I would highly suggest becoming a member of the Clan Mackay Society of Scotland because uh, in-depth, detailed historical videos will be posted there, where um, summaries and brief extracts from the films will be posted on the YouTube video or on the YouTube channel in general. So if you have not already become a member, I would highly uh, suggest doing so. If you don't want to do a life membership, then you can do a year membership, kind of check out how it looks. And if it's not for you, then you can, you can bounce from there. But we'll hopefully see you soon.